In this tutorial I'll explain how to replace negative values by zero using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and the first example is based on the vector object that we can create in line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object has been created which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. So after running this line of code you can see that we have created a vector containing 9 elements and some of these elements are negative and other values are positive. So let's assume that we want to replace all of the negative values by the value 0. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 5 to 6. So in line 5 of the code I'm first duplicating our vector because I want to keep an original version of the input vector. So after running this line of code a new vector object is appearing at the top right which is called vec positive. And at this point this vector contains exactly the same values as our input vector. And then in line 6 of the code I'm using a logical condition which tells R to remove all values that are smaller than 0 and to replace these values by the value 0. So if you run line 6 of the code our vector is updated as you can see by printing this vector to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code and after running this line of code you can see that we have replaced all negative values in this vector object by the value 0. So in this first example I have explained how to replace the negative values in a vector object by 0. However it's also possible to replace the negative values in a data frame object by 0 and this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial. So in lines 9 to 11 of the code we are first creating some example data. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing at the top right which is called data. And if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data contains 8 rows and 3 columns which are called x1, x2 and x3. All of these columns contain integer values However, some of the values are negative. So let's assume that we want to replace all negative values by 0. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 13 and 14. So as in the first example, I'm first duplicating our data as you can see in line 13 of the code. So after running this line of code, another data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data positive. And then in line 14 of the code I'm again using a logical condition to replace the negative values by the value 0. So if you run line 14 of the code our new data frame is updated. As you can see by clicking on the data frame object at the top right in the workspace. So after clicking on this data object a new window is opened which is showing the values in our updated data frame. And as you can see we have replaced all negative values by the value 0. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.